there's a uh, big off-road park just a few miles from my campground where guys take Jeeps like this and even bigger ones, monster ones that you gotta put on a trailer because they're not even street legal. It's one of the baddest off-road parks in the country. And it's right next to my Cave River campground, just a couple miles down the road. Today will be my second day there. I guess they're having a little open, so we're just gonna go in, check it out, see who's there. Maybe I'll put the Gladiator in the dirt a little bit. All right, we are just rolling in and it looks like there's quite a few rigs out here. Look at these big semis, the campers on the back. These guys, I mean, look, piled in here behind me. These guys are serious. I mean, very serious about their off-roading. Holy cow, all the way down campers. This is pretty cool. Look at that rig. Okay, <laughs> I'm officially excited. rocks are pretty big. They can get your truck flexed out in a hurry. You almost need one of them big rigs like we were seeing earlier to play back here at your full potential. I can run the bottoms of these creeks about like this, but man, some of these big trails up the sides of these mountains, there's just no way I would ever, ever be able to make it up with this truck. It's crazy. It just lets you know there's different levels to just about everything. Don't care if it's motorcycles, don't care if it's Jeeps, don't care if it's side-by-sides, camping, just man, there's always that next level and these guys I've got some crazy machines. And this is some really, really difficult terrain. We bought this truck to make YouTube videos with and work around the camp but not the kind of YouTube videos where we tear it up. So I'm trying not to flip it. And uh, you don't know the pressure <laughs> of having this thing on a slippery creek bed. Here we go. Yee! Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Jeep Rubicon! What I'd really like to do is find one of these guys and one of these machines built even more than my Gladiator is and uh, get him to take me up some of these hills and one of that. My Gladiator is the baddest machine I've ever personally ridden in off-road. It's the most capable I've ever ridden in off-road. So I'd like to try one of these. We'll see if we can talk somebody into it. Okay, so what are we riding in? In a TJ. What do you got done to it? Nice, man, it's got everything. Everything. Everything has changed. Uh, How big are the tires? The tires are 40s. 40s. Maxis. All right, so we're gonna go up this mountainside here. Yes. And then we can see if my Jeep would be able to do it. Right. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, that's a camera under your... Yeah, I'm, I'm watching my meridians. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, this is pretty heavy duty, man. Yeah. But I bet you you pick up the line. Oh, 
on top of this mountain. Just don't throw me over, man. No, save. Save this first. See how easy it is with this Jeep? Yeah, man, it is walking right up and up. Walks over it, huh? Yes. Woo! Dropping into the belly of the beast. You see how it kind of just slides on top of those rocks? That'll make you lose your stomach when you're sitting inside there. On that angle, it feels like you're gonna tip the whole time. And if you started rolling, it'd be a long roll down that hill. I should say mountain, we're way up here. Yeah, I'm a scare you low. It was badass driving. I can't believe you went up there. It's hard, man. Look how the front of that Jeep just expands and opens up. Keep you from flipping on such a, a steep incline. Ooh. That'll make you nervous. <laughs> He's literally laying on the side of his rim there. Oh my God. Oh, God. Daddy Eddie just ticking away. Rolling, grabbing the side of the tire, trying to walk it up that. Unreal. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> that was worth the wait. Very, very, very impressive. You see that flag on his arm? That's a Marine for you right there. Not sure I would have wanted to been in there. <laughs> Look at that view, man. Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see, but. I mean, you can see forever up here. I'll have to find out the name, but this is supposed to be one of the hardest trails on this entire property. And it's, I mean, you probably can't tell, but that's a waist high rock for me right there. So you see a lot of those buggies out here are just no way you could ever drive them on the street. They're strictly for crawling. There's that sweet spot where you can still drive it on the street and get out here and play. And that's exciting, man. Whew, my breath's almost gone, man. This is just unbelievable. Street legal, right? Uh, they're both of them are street legals. Yeah. Class inspection, insurance and everything. And um, uh, we can do everything, we, you know, like the bugs. It's a street legal Jeep thing. I don't know if y'all can see, we're on top of this mountain. And he's about to go off this ledge. Oh, that is straight down, homie. Oh, like one call for me. Okay. can't tell like that's level okay that's like level that's the ground i got it Heck yeah. Woo. that is some nerving stuff when you're lean sideways like that oh man that will uh that'll scare you to death oh what a rush all right i'm gonna go over to their camp see what other machines are there and maybe i can learn a little something <laughs> So we made it in camp just in time to celebrate a birthday. Sweet 16 again. So all the Jeeps are parked in here like this. These are the two we were out with. This is some of their friends. Talk about monster machines. We just got their campers side by side, a little hangout here. Where they get together and enjoy evenings like we just saw here. It's Pretty awesome way to live if you ask me. I know this off-roading thing is new, y'all, but I'm just loving it. I'm having fun with it. I hope y'all are enjoying coming along with me and learning. It's a lot of fun. I, I just hope y'all had fun with me today. Hope y'all saw, saw some stuff. I know I got scared more than once today, but we made it to the top of the mountain and back down because I stayed stubborn. And y'all remember that. Whatever challenge you're going through, whatever struggle you've got in your life, it shall pass. It'll pass even faster and even better. If you put your mind to something positive, stay focused, stay stubborn, and uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's video.